Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for your uh, faithfulness to us, your faithfulness to your promises all throughout history, your goodness to us, your love for us. Thank you that we've seen this in Jesus, in his death for us on our behalf, that he has uh, redeemed us. And we see all these things are undeserved by grace, that we receive such blessings from you. And Father, when we are so often ungrateful, when we uh, want more, we think we deserve more, when we think we need more, help us to be thankful for what we do have, knowing that we have received so much and so much more than we deserve. Father, as the Apostle Paul was uh, content, we pray that we would learn to be content whatever the circumstances. And particularly as we feel the fatigue uh, of lockdown restrictions, we are tired with um, all the different restraints on our daily lives and we're tempted so often to be unthankful. Father, we pray that we would uh, be truly thankful for what we do have, for what you've given us, for your blessings to us. Father, we pray for our church here at St John's. We thank you for uh, the return to the building. We thank you that this Sunday we can uh, gather together in church. And we pray that uh, it wouldn't be long before all of us are able to return to the building. And whilst it's not the same as what it was, Father, we pray that we would be thankful for what we can do in church. Father, we pray that we'd be able to continue to meet even over the winter months as um, the restrictions may well increase. And we pray for our youth groups and home groups as they seek to start back uh, in the coming weeks. Father, we pray that uh, that work of ministry would continue um, and particularly for the youth groups we pray Father that uh, there be wisdom amongst the leaders as they seek to uh, return to groups in person. Father we pray we wouldn't see kids who have dropped away and fallen away um, but they would come back eager uh, and excited to come back to youth groups. And Father we pray that this season um, wouldn't hinder the ministry of St John's but we would see people continuing to hear the gospel and come to faith. We would see people continuing to be discipled and matured as they are uh, taught from your word. And we pray, Father, we would adapt and be creative to continue doing this in uh, difficult and different times. As, as things change progressively, Father, we pray that we would uh, continually adapt to best uh, take the gospel out to people around us. Father, we pray for Si and Fergus. Give them wisdom as they lead. Father, we pray that in all uh, things they would be faithful, um, teaching your word faithfully each week. Father, we pray this would be their main concern, that they would um, be able to devote time and attention to teaching your word to people, to um, pastoring them. Father, we pray that the um, practical concerns of uh, returning to church wouldn't be a pressing anxiety on them, that they would be able to focus on their role in their leading and teaching. Father, we pray um, and give you thanks for Alison and Matthew in their new roles. We pray that you bless them as they serve the church. Thank you for their giving up time to serve us. And we pray for Matthew in particular with the, with the year ahead as a ministry apprentice. Give him growth this year, we pray. We ask that you wouldn't just uh, know more about the Bible or be able to teach it better or know more about you. But Father, we pray that he would grow in Christ-likeness, in maturity. Uh, this year would be foundational for him, for a lifetime spent serving you in all ways. We pray for our nation. Father, we pray for wise and godly leaders who seek to do what is right and what is just. Father, we pray for the Queen and all who serve in the government under her. We pray that they would do what is best for the nation, do what is best for all, that they would do what is um, right and wise. We pray that soon we would end the lockdown measures, that um, the new measures being brought in will be effective and would restrain the virus, that people would be responsible in following them, and that soon we would um, return to what is more normal. But ultimately, Father, we pray for awakening in this country. Father, we ask that there be an end towards this apathy towards religion or a hatred towards religion. 
And Father, we pray that the people would realise en masse their need for Christ. Father, we pray you would use your church for the sake of your glory to take the gospel out to this country, to see people uh, come to faith. Father, we pray that for the sake of your glory we would see people turning to Jesus in this day. And as we draw our time of prayer to them, let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.